Hey everyone, it's Laura London and I have a message for you today. And the message is enzymes. Enzymes? What you talking about? Enzymes. Well, all right, let me back it up here. I, I finally announced fitness is my hobby, nutrition is my passion. So you can imagine if this is my hobby, then nutrition is the key and my passion. One video I've been wanting to make for a long time and I keep saying I'm going to do this and this experiment, but it's about enzymes. So let's talk about enzymes. Enzymes, you're given a certain amount of enzyme reserves when you're born. And enzymes are used to break down foods. Now natural foods already come with enzymes. Hold up. Here's this beautiful cantaloupe. It's loaded with its own natural enzymes. It will break itself down in your body. Nature has included those enzymes in fruits and vegetables. Okay, so what happens when we eat something, say a cooked food? It is not teeming with enzymes. The food is cooked, the enzymes are not there anymore. This is when we have to draw on our own body's enzyme reserves. And we want to really do this as little as possible because enzymes are like a, a key, a key to our body for health and wellness. So the way that we can assist our body by not drawing on its own enzyme reserves is to supplement it with some enzymes, specifically when we're eating a lot of cooked foods. Are you with me? Hang on. Keep listening. Okay, before I go any further in this video, I want to make something clear. I am not vegan, vegetarian, raw. I have been all those things. I have lived raw. I have lived vegetarian. I've lived vegan. I eat protein. I believe all those things are awesome and wonderful. I also believe everybody and every body is different. So what works for one person may not work for the other person. So you have to listen to your body and know what works for you. The one thing I do know is that when you increase the amount of fruit and vegetables in your diet, you increase your health and wellness. No doubt, hands down, that is the key. We're giving our body more living enzymes. We're supplying it with the nutrients it needs to function. So yes, raw is awesome. Awesome. They are getting so much in there. So you know what? I love every type of diet out there. But again, everything what's right for one person is not right for the other. So I don't want people saying, oh, but Laura, you should be vegetarian. Laura, you should be vegan. Laura, you shouldn't eat protein. I do a little bit of everything with moderation and for me and my body, that's what works. Now I'm giving you just knowledge because knowledge is power, okay? And I want you guys to be powerful in your life, your health, and your wellness. Okay, let's move on back to enzymes. Okay, these are two bowls of oatmeal. The one with the spoon in it has digestive enzymes in it, and the other one is just regular oatmeal. They've both been sitting here for about 10 minutes. I want to show you this. Okay, do you see what those digestive enzymes have done? They have made this into soup. This is the oatmeal without any digestive enzymes that's oops, sitting in your stomach. That's the cooked food without enzymes. This is the cooked food with enzymes. This is the food that naturally comes with enzymes. So the more we eat of this type of food, the less we have this type of food sitting in our stomach, causing bloating, gas, 
belching and improper digestion. Okay, that was the easiest way for me to show you the effects of enzymes and cooked food. That was oatmeal. It was a half a cup of oatmeal, each mixed with three quarters of a cup of water, and I put them and cooked them, and that's what they were. I took three digestive enzymes. These are from Purium Health Products. I will put that link there on my, on my uh, video and on my website. All I did was take three of these and break them down onto the oatmeal with the enzymes. Now, this is the food sitting in your stomach. The cooked food is just sitting there. People who have a lot of bloating, um, digestive issues, gut issues, belching, this is, can really, really help. And I am gonna put some suggestions there about how many enzymes you should take. You should take them before you eat um, because at about 10 minutes of this sitting in your stomach, your stomach, you know, it churns. So it's the same effect if I just mixed it up at the beginning, but then your hydrochloric acid is gonna come in and start mixing it up. But look how much easier it is for this, for your body to digest than this. This is gonna suck out those enzymes. And enzymes are life to the body. They help us, they help with every everything, every function in your body. They help you with beautiful skin, you name it. You wanna hold on to as many enzymes as you can. So, all right, here's the quiz. How do we hold on and keep our body's enzymes? The ones that we were given on the day we were born. How do we reserve them? That's really the key to health and youth and one of the keys. All right, if you answered eating more fruits and vegetables, A plus people, that's it. They don't call me the green fitness goddess for nothing. Yes, I might be a fitness, but I am the green goddess because I am giving you the knowledge and the power you need for that healthy temple called your body. All right? I'm sure I left stuff out that I want to tell you, but you know what? I'll just make another video. So, I love you guys. I will see you See you soon. You know, every Tuesday I come out with a new exercise video on Tear It Up Tuesdays, and I just bam throw out videos whenever I get that idea in my head to make a video because I love doing it. I love helping you guys feel better. Come visit me at lauralondonfitness.com. I've got Laura London Wellness, the Seven Day Goddess Juice Feast, Fit and Fabulous Mom Contest kind of like web real estate. I just love those domains and you know there are more on the way. All right, and you know what? I would love for any of you to come and be a part of the Fit and Fabulous Mom Contest. It's here in Boca Raton, Florida, October 12th. If you've had a transformation, if you've always wanted to get on stage but thought, oh my gosh, a bikini can't do it, no bikinis allowed. Mom, this is your night for you to get beautiful, glamorous, rock the stage, step out of your comfort zone and have fun. If you can't be there but you still want to be part of the Fit and Fabulous Mom contest, send me your story, some photos at laura at lauralondonfitness.com and I will put it on our transformation page and share it with the world. All right, ladies, be fit, be fabulous and eat your fruit and veggies. Goodbye. Men too.